previously on Barn Moms. I've decided that I want to enter Ritz in the show. You both could get seriously injured. Ned, you're fired. You did amazing for your first show. I thought you'd end up being crippled. Oh, be quiet. It was all because of you. You make me feel, feel so happy. Oh boy, look how well we did. We got champion. So, I see that your boyfriend went back to his home stable. How do you feel about it? <laughs> okay, first of all, we're not dating. And second of all, I really wish he was here right now. Yeah, well, didn't his owner fire the trainer at ASS? Yeah, Alfie, I heard rumors about that. Is it true? I'll ask Jim. He had the closest stall to where the whole snafu happened. Hey, Jim, is the rumor about Ritz's owner firing her trainer true? Yeah, I heard the whole thing. It was pretty frantic. Ugh, can you guys keep it quiet? I'm trying to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, Kiona. I really didn't mean to. Oh, no, I didn't mean you, Jim. You're fine. <laughs> Ooh, Jim and Kiona. Ugh, be quiet. I ship it. Guys, shh. Do you hear that? Oh, hello, Jim. Such a good boy. What is she doing here? She's from Autumn Spark Stables. All right. Codename Samantha. Codename Julie. So what's the plan? What are we going to do with the pony? I say we bring it to the stable. This stable? Yes, here at Whispering Pines Equestrian Center. Okay, well, what about the owner? What are we going to tell him? Ugh, he's dumb enough to not figure it out. We'll just tell him that a new pony's born in here, and if he asks us about how it looks similar to the one at ASS, we tell him they sold it, okay? Alrighty then. Seems like it's set. Now, all we gotta do is kidnap it. All right, we got the pony. What do we do now? Um, I'm guessing I we have to walk back because I forgot to bring my trailer. Oh my goodness! It's fine. Just walk her back to Whispering Pines. It's not that far. It's just, um two miles away. All right, well, we better get going now. <gasps> Anna, what is it? What do we do? I don't know. <laughs> That's what happens whenever I walk on that leg for too long. Anna? Um, aren't you that girl from ASS? Um, yeah! I helped Anna sell this pony to a girl who rides at your stable. <laughs> oh, really? Who? Um, well, well you see. Uh... <laughs> A funny story, you see, she may not come for a year. Four or five years. Uh, twenty years. Multiple decades. Some infinity. Who knows, it could be eons and eons from now. Well, our point is, is we have no idea when the girls come, okay? Okay, well, I don't want to have to deal with you people, so just go put the pony in an empty stall. Alright, bye. Well, that was easier than I thought. Let's get out of here. All right, Anna, we did it. Up top. All right, let's go get some McDonald's. Remember, it's open 24 hours. Yeah, what am I doing here? I didn't do anything wrong. Those two weird people just walked me into Whispering Pines Equestrian Center. I don't want to be here. But hey, do you know what to do? I mean, I've never had a stall mate before. But 
That's considering I'm only a two year old. So, kid, you got randomly dragged into this new place. Um, you probably shouldn't call me kid. I'm about 10 years older than you. Okay, okay, not kid. Midget little mare. Okay, okay, I get it. You're trying to be funny, but that's not making it any better. Can you please help me? Did you hear any of your owners talking about selling you? No, not one bit. And those people, they mysteriously just warped me into this place instead of pulling me up by a trailer. All right, yep, they kidnapped you. <laughs> You're not helping very much. What can I say? I said, I'm only a two-year-old. <sighs> well, I gotta get some rest, and you should too. Who knows what you'll be doing here, <laughs> and why they wanted to kidnap you. All right, <laughs> at least I have an entertaining stallmate. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Good night.